What's up guys, the Master Jewel Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have episode number 6 of Grinding Master Duel, and we're just gonna instantly hop into the shop, I just bought a bunch of gems, so we got 5,000 now, and I'm going to get a few of these packs, that way I can finish the branded deck, finish that and start playing it in this video, I don't want to play more runic for you guys, 1, 2, 3... Okay, and we got a branded lost. We needed that one, so that's like that's a really good ultra hit there. Like any ultra in general is good, but the ones we actually need. Okay, yeah, I don't need either of those. Why is this evil swarm guy ultra? All right, at least we hit two. At least we hit two. Keep giving us, keep giving us two or more, two or more. I'll keep taking it. That that one. Ooh 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 six, six. And I got two branded lost now. Okay, okay. It's not like I need two of it, but maybe I'll end up playing more of it in a future build, so at least I have it, or I can dismantle it to build another deck, which is probably what will actually happen to it. Oh, we hit Droplet, and we got another Mercarier there. Okay, that's good, because that Mercarier... I might actually play... I might actually play that other Mercarier, too. Oh, that looked like a bunch of Ultras, and this one, too? Oh, my God! Yo, I am b b b b ballin'. Holy, that's insane. That was actually insane. Do we got more? Okay, we got one more for one pack. And you already know, this is about to go hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, I'm about to say. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, okay, okay. But that was insane. That was actually... That's, that has to be enough to finish the deck. That has to be enough. We hit, like, four cards that we needed, too. I think, I think we hit an Albion. Yeah, we hit Branded Lost. Um, got a Fusions. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, well, we'll fuse this first, or generate this first, because we absolutely need that. That is an absolutely mandatory card. Um, same with this. This is absolutely mandatory. Cannot go without it. Another Albion. Absolutely mandatory. Um, at least one Masquerade. Absolutely mandatory. And then now let's go through the cards that we can actually dismantle. Um, let's see. Dismantle selected cards. Okay. One, two, and then let's go three. What is this? A little digital bug? Yeah, out. <laughs> that can get out of there. That can get out of there. DDD. More like never needed you. Uh, okay, we'll take... I only need one Ash. I don't think we'll ever build a deck that needs another Ash. And we'll never build a deck that needs three Albia. <laughs> Do Avatar, Tiger, Starving Venom Guide, the Gusto, Brio, Felgrand, Prophecy Guide, that. There's so many easy cards I can take out. We'll leave the Melfi in there because I do think I'll end up using that one day. We'll literally take everything else out though. Spirit Charmer card, 100%. Okay. And I, I still want to leave the Labyrinth cards there because I, I want. That's probably going to be the next deck I build. But that deck's probably going to be really, really expensive. Look at this. Look at this. 270. Yeah, because the Labyrinth deck probably takes a lot of super generic trap cards, which are just ultras. I like that. I like that. Show that. Show me it. Show me my free pack. Oh, I thought you were showing a free pack. Okay, okay, okay. Let's build this up. Anaconda, built. Quaddle, built. The second Masquerade, we already have it. Shouldn't, shouldn't have even got the first one, because I already knew I was about to get the second one. Get that, get that. Um... Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not that great, because like, I don't have like all the going second cards, so I put more engine in. Like, I play three Tragedy. I play Comedy. play three Fallen of Owlbaz. But I, this should definitely work. I am 100% down to try this. Oh, wait, let, let's... Uh, let's go to the second Mirror Jade first, and then let's go try this. Okay, so we're going to hop right into the duelist cup may as well keep playing this this gives me gems i want gems i can rank up which means nothing to me or i can get gems i'll probably i mean i'll be ranking up anyways like okay they choose thinking like called by will probably end up needing to go in this cross out just as more outs to ash blossom since it's so popular in this format maybe i'll play max c because max c is a hand trap but I'm on the wrong deck. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, well, we're playing this one with Runic. That's my bad. 
we're playing two matches in this anyways. I was planning on doing two. I was going to do two with Brandon, but we're going to do one with Runic now and one with Brandon. That's my bad. A little misclick. We're going up against Scare Claws. So they're going to normal summon, link off. Do they actually have everything in this? I mean, if they're going for the link one, then I'm guessing they do. It's crazy how they have this, but they don't have tier cards in the game yet. So they're going to go search for the planet. Activate planet to go search. And then... That's probably just going to grab the level 4 scare claw or the level 3. Okay. I don't know how much respect to give my opponent yet because they could be very, very bad. Scare claw is not the type of deck I see and I'm like, oh, my opponent's going to be good. It's either, okay, my opponent knows exactly what they're doing and how to interact or they have no idea what they're doing. Okay, and this is the good one. That's the one that lets them go search. But they don't have three guys in defense, so they're not going to get a draw or anything. They're just going to search the... Uh, the revive from the graveyard. And then Starfrost to pop. So pop that summon. Seep, then like. Okay, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and bring that out. I don't know. Uh, could have been done a little bit differently. Effect the summon back out. Because they could have got the draw off of this if they wanted it, but <clears throat> they just did it in a different order. Now they get to make Fleur, a Negate. Yeah, it's a good card. But they summon an attack position every single time. Oh, they don't! Okay, he's good. He knows what's up. Activate the summon back from the grave. Because his deck always summons and defends. Because that's just like how the archetype works and gets free cards. But if they summon that in attack mode, then I can start crashing with Fangs to try to pop stuff. But I also have to activate Extravagance, so I could very well banish Fangs. Probably not all three. Probably not all three. But two of them? Decent chance. Okay, they're going to make the Link 3 Scare Claw effect summon back from Graveyard. Go search. I know your shenanigans. I know your shenanigans. And this can protect if a Scare Claw Link would be sure a battle or a card effect that can banish this to protect it. At least this card doesn't affect me that much. Because, like, yeah. Oh, but it changed. Oh, never mind. It changed this stuff to defense. So I actually can't summon Fangs and try to crash. Oh, that's. That's going to make this a lot more tough to out. I don't even see what they search, by the way. Day draw. On. What they search? Oh, they added. Oh, they added that. Okay. I thought they added something, like, real. Mm, oh man, that's so bad though. All of my runic cards are just dead. I guess we could still activate them now to make them floor negate. What's in my hand? Nah, if I discard extravagance, then they know I have another extravagance. So I'll just go main phase. Not like I'm drawing or anything. Sure. You want a floor tag out? Ah? Ah? Thought about it? Activate, go banish. But yeah, I have decided I want to cut uh, Extravagance down a little bit to, because I think Demise is just better all around, 100%. Ooh, that goes through. Draw two. Draw two? Draw two? Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. Um, Gozen seems pretty good against their end board. I really didn't draw it like a tip or a flashing fire or a negate. I just needed to stop try hard this turn and not being able to do it. It's really hurting my feelings. Go activate Fountain. See if they have a response to this. And then I'm going to MST pop the back row. Okay, they're going to out that. This doesn't stop me from searching, though. So I can just summon and search for another Fountain. Or try to, at least. I haven't gone through any Runic spells, so I can activate pop. I should probably start with that. Pop this. Hopefully it's not the trap card. I don't even know if it's out in this. I actually don't. The one that you can banish to make it so away. Oh, but it all doesn't stop links. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, activate dispelling. I feel like I should actually use slumber. No, I should use storm. Storm's the one that really doesn't matter. Nah, so I'm gonna go slumber, discard, extravagance, search, and then activate storm to just banish stuff off their field. 
If I have to activate one for nothing, I may as well do it like that. And then summon out. Discard Extravagance. I don't really want to have to use a second one to use more of my extra deck. So I'd have to, I'll probably just use it for three at that point. And I should have my engine rolling as long as I don't get hand trapped right here. Yeah, I go search. So I already have two in grave. I can activate this. And then activate storm just to banish stuff. And then that'll be my third one. So I can get, you know, real value out of my fountain too. Choose to banish. Max them out. Banish five. Oh. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I used extravagance. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. I just can't possibly play more like a bot. I don't know what it is. On Master Duel, I just can't play well right now. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know. Let, there you go. Move my mic. Move it a little bit. Do it. Do whatever I need to to help me out here. Cause I'm scrambling bad. That was crazy. I just banished my opponent's field for no reason, and now I can't use dispelling. So now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Standby phase. Come on. Oh my gosh. And this is. It's on, right? Like I can use this. Okay. Okay. We, uh, like, I wanted to use this before, because now they're just going to target something, and, like, I wanted them to keep Fleur and Pop goes, and, like, that's that would be good for me, because I can tag out. What do you target? Because now they can target, so, yeah, because now they can target something that's Earth and actually bring it out onto the field. I guess we'll just chain. I, it doesn't matter, actually, if I chain or not, because now if I chain, yeah, it's actually better like this. What am I talking about? I'm so dumb. So bad. Go ahead, send. It's not they like send floor. They don't get to summon back from the grave. Cause and if you do, yep. So they're gonna keep their try heart. Lock themselves in the darks. Rich heart is a dark though. Ooh. Okay. So special summon effect. Go search. And then they're going to search Arrival, Dispelling, rip the card from their hand. Yep, let's go ahead. Do we hit Arrival? We don't. Okay, I'm okay with that though, because now we know everything they have. Which also makes me feel, you know, nice. Feel nice about that. We'll put back. Oh my gosh, I almost just pressed Select. Oh my gosh, I almost did the same misplay I did in the first video like seven times. <sighs> that was so close. Yeah, put back three, draw three. You drew anything? Do you want to use anything? Um, no. They have this engrave, so like I can't even like pop this. And this isn't like once per turn to protect, right? It is. It is once per turn. Okay, but summon back from the grave. Sure, they have this to pop now, but I can protect with my fusion. Which I'm obviously going to do. Uh. Yep, that's fine. Protect with this. There we go. So now I can get attacked for 3,000. Um, I do have things I could summon. But still just doesn't do anything because they have this. That's okay. Taking 3,000 life points isn't bad. They're locked in the darks. So they can't switch their guys to attack. So that keeps them in defense. So now they're going to link off. Do they make something that's not a scare claw? They do. They make access code. Okay, I have to do something on summon, otherwise access code is just going to start wiping me. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, I hate Master Duel. Like, I'm actually about to lose my fountain and so many pluses. Okay, now, 
now I lose my floodgate because for some reason it just doesn't give me the option to do this. And you could say like, oh, what well, you're supposed to have it say on, but like, why that right, right there? That's a that's a that's like one of the most common scenarios in Yu-Gi-Oh history. I swear, on res of access code, activate something to interrupt it. That was crazy. If I would have lost to that. I would have I would have been so mad. You guys would have seen toxic DB grinder or MD grinder. My bad, wrong guy, wrong guy, wrong guy. Okay. Okay, sure. So delete that deck. Let's switch it to our branded deck. Yeah, I didn't know I needed to do this. Okay, there we go. Now we can start playing with branded. Said when to level up. All right, they get to go first. I'm only playing. I, I was only gonna play two matches this video, and I'm still only gonna play two matches this video because I do have to go very soon. But at least, at least we got a branded match in. Sadly, it's supposed to be two, but at, le at least we got one. Okay, opponent's going first. Hand's pretty good. What is that? When it's activate, you can activate one malefic world from deck. While it's in the field, it's supposed to another player can target field zones with a card effect. The malefic monster effect. There can only be one face on the field because there can only be one malefic monster with the same name during the battle phase to get the effects of all face up ones on the field. Okay. Okay, to make it okay, so it's pretty much take all the restrictions off of these. They can't attack the only one of each. This doesn't do anything besides change the draw for turn. Doesn't this guy just get hard, hard, hard cooked here? Okay, so branded fusion. Oh, it went through. Oh, it's already so scary. So I mean, it's so good for me, but so scary for them. I think we'll just go for Albion. No, I probably should go for Lubellion. And then we'll dump. We'll dump the good-looking Fallen of Albaz, and we will dump. I almost want to send Comedy, so really don't need Tragedy. Yeah, we'll dump Comedy. I just have, like I have everything. I have so much engine. Summon out. And then new chain link. Lubellion effect. And then Lubellion will go ahead and I'll just discard the tragedy. Anything. They don't have any response. Um, Go ahead, chain comedy. Just get that off board, get a new name there. Okay, so that's going through. Bring that out. And then Lubellion's going to go ahead and put back. Bring out the Mirror Jade. And then Summon. And then Albion Effect. Go down Fallen of Albaz. Back to the bottom, draw one. Okay, another Alubur. Then summon Alubur. Alubur effect. Any response? No. Wow, no response on that. I just don't know what to grab. I guess we'll grab theater. And then we just brand it in red. Try to go crazy. I guess we'll activate this first. So if it leaves, I can summon back from the grave. And then activate. Grab back tragedy. No chain. Okay, and then special summon. Bring out Chimera. We'll use, oh, this is Okay, so we're going to use the Alibron field. Yes. We will then use the tragedy in hand and the comedy on field. All right. I had to make sure I got that way right. With the runic stuff, I messed up way too many times when I first started playing it, so I got to gotta watch what I'm actually clicking. Bring out Guardian Chimera, new chain link, 
Chimera 1, Tragedy 2. I really can't wait until... I don't know. I keep saying that until I start playing against more real opponents. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Go Search. And then Chimera. Draw Poly. Pop. Uh, hold on, let me... Let me read this card real quick. Now your player can target them. Okay, so I'll just pop this, pop this, and that's also gonna pop that. Oh, it's not because I have oh, because I have my own field spell up. Okay, but it doesn't matter because I can out that really, really easily. Um, we'll just activate, and then this will poly for us. Oh, I guess I could have chain mirror jade, um, chain mirror jade, and then get rid of it with ad lib. So I'm gonna have to use um, mirror jade anyways. We'll just fuse off. Yeah, there's, there's just no losing here. There's just no losing. So summon. I've already summoned five times, so I may as well use this. Summon out. Boop. Mirror Jade effect. Dump Albion. Banish that. And then just enter battle phase. And go for game. I honestly forgot that I could not attack directly off Brandon in red for a second. Holy. It's just like, it's just like I don't know, when you play against someone like this, you're going to start making a lot of mistakes because, like, you almost just feel like you can't lose. But all right, I'll play one more because I went really quick. I thought I, thought I was only going to do one. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. On to the next one. Levels don't matter. We're trying to be the number one duelist. The best there is. I wonder how, how do you get first through tenth on this? Do you just have to have like a really good like win-loss record or something? Because if it goes by like win-loss ratio instead of like matches played total, then that'd probably be a problem, but it also makes sense. At some point. I d I don't know. I don't really I really don't know how these would work. I've never tried to play in one of these before. Okay, so also we'll have to turn this on in the future because I'm going to have branded opening stuff that will end up coming up later on. But we can go branded fusion, dump tragedy, tragedy search. I forget, how does this deck search my carrier? Oh, branded lost, branded lost. Okay, so we need a way to branded lost then. So we can go branded opening, discard. Yeah, see, like this could have all been done in draw phase, but it just like automatically moves you to main phase. Discard. Oh, I should have discard kit. I'm dumb. Discard kit. Go summon. Yeah, summon to the field. Bring out Alibur. And then Alibur effect. Okay, that can go search. Grab branded lost. And then activate branded lost. Activate fusion. Bring out the Lubellion, dump Tragedy, dump Albaz, summon. Cause like, you know, discarding like the kit or poly doesn't matter if everything goes through, but that's only if everything goes through. Lubellion effect, discard kit, Tragedy 2, then lost 3 and the opponent can't respond to any of it. Nice! So it changes instantly goes, right? Instantly goes, doesn't wait for a reaction. Good, because there's no reaction they can have. Go search my carrier. Then tragedy goes search. Ad lib. Have to get that in rotation, like every time. And then Lubellion, put back. Make Mirror Jade. Use Fawn of Albaz, Lubellion. Bring out the Mirror Jade. I like how that looks, it's like two Mountain Dew or two Bangs going around a Thunder Dragon Colossus. Activate, or at least it looks like Thunder Dragon Colossus. Activate Allure, draw, banish Mercarrier, and then Mercarrier effect. I do actually have more of these, I should probably put more of these in my deck. I only had one in the first list because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get any more of them. But yeah, we're going to go search. I could just use a lure and banish that. Maybe I could have done it differently than and not grab this if I was just gonna banish. Maybe I grab the Fallen of Albazes I had multiple of. I could dump. 
Dumping doesn't matter though. Cause I have no way to add back or anything. Sure, let's just allure. We could also I'll be under all then allure, but it might become more blind then. Okay, yeah, we'll just banish that. We got more follow up. Did indeed get more follow up. Hmm. Okay, yeah, end phase. Then. Bro, it's just not real! <laughs> okay, I, I, ha I have to just have on on. I can't, I can't, bro. Because, like, it's messed up so many of my plays. That turn, I had two plays messed up because of that. Like, let me move to end phase. Let me move an end phase. Don't, like, there shouldn't just be an end button. Why not an end phase button? I want to use effect an end phase. If I use it in main phase, I'm going to look like a dummy if I somehow get waxed by something I shouldn't have. Because I should, because it's supposed to be used in end phase. It's the proper time to do it, to get branded in red. And now you're going to be playing, like, a trap deck or something. And I'm going to lose when I was supposed to have Guardian Chimera set up. Back in the Mirror Jade. Back into a free dump because I have Drama Surge. What is this? Okay, they're gonna go search. This doesn't do anything. Sure. No, we'll have it on auto now that we're on their turn. Yeah, crit doesn't do anything. So we can mirror Jada, get branded in red. We have branded lost. That is a huge card. Oh my gosh, I just got destroyed. I'm gonna go summon from the deck now. Could have mirror jaded it, but I didn't even know this was a card. Let's go summon. I played with these in speed duel, but they were a little bit different. They weren't like these ones. Okay, effect the sun, it becomes the name, then you can special summon one with a different name than the ones you control. No, we're gonna stop that. Oh wait, it becomes that name. Oh, I'm dumb. I should have thought about that more because it dumps it, becomes the name, and then they don't have one the special back. So I didn't stop anything there. All I did was stop it becoming the name. Oh I look like a bot and it sends for cost too. Smashing ground! Oh my gosh, I just got waxed. Okay, we'll send, banish. Banish the level 3 guy for sure. Okay. And then use branded opening. Oh, I forgot I could have just done that. I was thinking like, okay, I chain mirror jade, banish. There's no way I lose this turn. I destroy the field at end phase. I have follow up. I could have just thought, like, oh, I have branded opening, let's just protect this. End phase, Albion. We already have branded fusion in hand. I'm gonna go search branded in red. Chain max C to an effect that doesn't special summon, sure. Resolve, go grab this, set it, nope. Okay, my turn. Nice max C. Okay, draw phase, draw, standby phase, main phase. Okay, um. Yeah, we're gonna start just branded in red. Add back. Like, we could have started with branded fusion and then branded in red in that. But. Has to be chain link one for them to not be able to respawn. Special summon the field, just bring out Chimera. Mirror Jade, Dramaturge, Adlib. And then summon. Okay, so this cannot attack directly this turn. Uh, chain links. We're gonna get a bunch of them. So we're gonna get. Um, Chimera. Like we're just gonna set up. One, two, three, four. Oh, thank gosh I targeted Mirror Jade there. I was just trying to press a bunch of effects and say select. Yeah. Could've, should, probably could have done it like the other way. 
It really doesn't matter. Search. Summon an attack position. Summon an attack position. Pop back row. Draw two pop back row. Okay, and then... No, I don't need to use this effect. Yeah, this card doesn't do anything. Uh, quick effect? Nope, not a quick effect. Cool. Mirage effect. The yeah, Mirage is gonna dump a blue belly on out this. The normal summon. Okay, and then. Ooh. Yeah, could have made Anaconda, but probably wouldn't have been good. Switch to attack. Go for game. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for this. Uh, I do want to work on the Branded and the Runic deck a little bit. I have a little bit of extra points, so I'll be able to work on them a tiny bit. Um, and then maybe I'll show the updated list when I come back. But that is going to be it for this episode of Master Duel Grinding. If there's any specific deck you want to see, comment it down below. You know, try to make it like a real deck, though, because I don't want to put a lot of gems into a deck I'm literally never going to play again or a deck that's just not real at all. Or if, like... You know, there's a specific build of the Runic deck you want to see. I can just try to pick up the other cards for that. That would probably work out. But the Master Duel Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.